back with Joseph the dreamer. Uh, Pharaoh has called Joseph from prison to his palace uh, to, to ask him about his dreams. And Joseph lets him know that it is not Joseph who's going to tell him the truth about these dreams, but, but God. And he lets him know that the, the dreams mean that there's going to be seven years of abundance in Egypt, followed by seven years of drought. And Joseph lets him know that they have to put a plan in place uh, appointing leaders to make sure that grain is stored up during the seven abundant years so that the people survive the dry years. You will notice here how Joseph and Pharaoh, two leaders with very different uh, religious traditions, somehow come to understand that they share a common God and they share a common dream of doing what is right and what is best uh, for the people of Egypt. And we as a nation need to come together once again uh, we need to come back to this common dream of, of sharing a God uh, of love and mercy and justice and truth and mutual care and sustenance. We need to come back to uh, respecting one another uh, as citizens of a democracy and being responsible for this democracy. Uh, we need to come back to trusting in leaders and, uh, and supporting them, and, and we need to come back to the common dream of loving and caring for one another. Uh, friends, we need to do what Jesus says, which is to store up treasures in heaven 
and we store up treasures in heaven by way of commitments, complete commitments to mutual love and care and sustenance and truth telling. Uh, and uh, if, if we deride people who are in the truth telling business, if we deride leaders who are sincerely trying their best, uh, then in fact we are in danger of, of, if we are Jesus followers, we are in danger of, of being those who say to Jesus, Lord, Lord, but who do not do the will of his Father in heaven. But if we do indeed commit to these things, we're going to see ourselves not only surviving the dry times ahead uh, as nation, because there's going to be more of them, as community, as, as individuals, as families. And by the way, you need to commit to these things in your family as well, because your spouse and your children, they need your love, your care, your support, your guidance. Uh, and so if we commit to the way of Jesus and everything that he represents, we're going to be thriving in the years ahead. And if we don't, um, there's going to be much to um, lament. And I would much more like to celebrate uh, than lament. So let's come together as a people. Uh, please join me in prayer. Uh, Father, what a blessing it is to see this example of Pharaoh and Joseph, two people from um, such different upbringings, different cultures, ways of life, different religions, coming together, um, trusting in a God of love and care and justice, um, and putting a plan into action to make sure the people would survive. Um, help us, O oh Lord, help us to help our leaders come back to a common dream of loving one another and caring for one another. Help us, O oh Lord, to not, under the banner of personal freedoms, deride people uh, who are wanting to further the truth. Help us to support scientists and doctors. Help us to support professional journalists. Help us to support uh, our local, state, and national leaders. And yes, tell them the truth when we need to tell them the truth. But Lord, in this pluralistic democracy of ours, in this world in which um, all the information and the knowledge of the world is at our fingertips, we have no excuse any longer. So help us, O oh Lord, to not be deceived, um, to commit completely to the truth and furthering it in our world, and complete, com commit completely um, to the love and the care that you call us to. That is for everyone, um, including those who are broken mind, body, and spirit, um, and those who are lost out in the wilderness, confused, um, broken by sin, uh, loving those, Lord, with whom we disagree. We ask it all in and through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen.